Good morning. Happy Monday morning. I hope that everyone enjoys their work week. We're just going to get right on into this message. I, um, yeah, I had heard in the restroom this morning that it's a reset on your life because someone tried to rewind. You hear me? Like, like, just like on the DVD, VCR, whatever, YouTube, yeah, you rewind, you go back. Somebody tried to rewind your life's movie to a specific time and a specific era. Whoever um, this, this person is, you have uh, detached yourself from them. You have cut ties with this person. Uh, you no longer uh, wish to be in balance with this person. But this person definitely tried to do something that hit the rewind on your life's movie. Yeah. And I'm hearing you've been fast forwarded. Now that what you missed in this spiritual, in that spiritual attack that was happening, you're about to replay it. It's about to be replayed. Okay. Replayed and fast forwarded. You're about to have the, the chemistry with someone that you desire. You're about to have the trust. Someone did something, y'all. To try to rewind your life's movie. And now they got to face judgment for it. They got to face judgment for it, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You cut this person off. For sure. You cut this person off. You cut this person the fuck off. Do you hear me? Denied this person all access to who you are. And you begin taking your motherfucking power back. You begin taking your power back. You denied this person access to all of who you are. And you begin taking your power back. You begin loving you. You begin, you begin to be a rose. And that's metaphorically speaking. What I mean by that. You begin to love on yourself and beautify yourself. Still have thorns on you, which are blocks, protection to keep people who don't mean you no motherfucker good away from you. This person is literally going through their bullshit right now and they need to. They need to wallow all in. Look at that shit. They need to wallow all in their bullshit for what they did to you. You don't even know this person did this. You don't. Well, now you do.
This person could be losing a lot of shit. This person has got a motherfucking tower that has hit they ass. Do you hear me? The tower hit they has hit they ass real bad. Real bad. <laughs> real. Uh, because you wanted you wanted you chose to be uh free and independent of this person. That's what I'm hearing. You chose to be free and independent of this person. Because that didn't mean you no good. This person uh, was always emotionally unavailable um, for you. Always unavailable. You have untied that knot. You have let that soul tie go. And that's exactly what the fuck you need to do. This person is, was a narcissist. This person would come in and love bomb you with this desire card here. This person in this communicate card. This person would come in and love bomb you. You hear me? Will come in and love bomb your ass. And then don't have nothing to back that shit up at the end of the day. After they done love bombed you. Then got your little coochie. You finally cleansed yourself with this finished bath here. You finally cleansed yourself of this motherfucker. Whoever this is, it this could be a male or female to take the roles how they re resonate. Yeah, you finally cleansed yourself, and that's a good thing. You should have. You should you 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 have untied the knot that had this soul cut this soul tie. It was a, a strong ass soul tie. This person literally tried to rewind. You hear me? Like, I don't know what kind of um, spell this person paid somebody to do. But they did it. I don't even know the name of them motherfuckers. Unless the Holy Spirit revealed it. But whatever they did, they did it. They did it. They did it. And you dusting that shit off. This person's going to go through some legal issues. This person definitely got some strong-ass legal issues. Person could be wrapped up in drug cases. I'm hearing theft of property cases. This person could even go blind. I'm hearing they could start having eye problems. Somebody could be getting their children taken away from them. Because they haven't been, um, they, they've been very neglected to their children. It's like all, it's a whole lot of shit I'm seeing. And it's like all that shit is just coming back. They finna face they motherfucking demons. They decided to mess with a chosen one. You took your power back. You cleansed yourself of this bad energy. Motherfucker show be trying to come in and love bomb your ass. Every time you think you cut, every time you think you um, untie that knot, this motherfucker come in and love bomb the shit out you. But not this time. Not this time. Some of you need to take a, a cleansing. Do a cleansing to rid yourself of this person's energy.
every time. That's crazy. Every time you did this motherfucking relationship, this person will come in and do something. I promise you will straight love bomb you. To get you back into that mode of being attracted to them. Or, you know, obsessed with being with them. When you've already begun this journey of self-love, they be trying to throw you back. Throw you back into bullshit. But not this time. Not this time. And, and it, this doesn't necessarily have to mean be that this person paid somebody. I picked that up, but that's not for everybody. It could be for one or two people. I'm just picking that this person does a lot of fucking love bombing. A lot of it. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just too much. Ooh, look at what's on the bottom of the deck, y'all. I can't make that up. Want you back. Rejected. And giving money, y'all. I cannot make this up. What I tell you, love bomb your ass. That's what he trying to do. He trying to, this time that you have untied that knot and cleansed his ass away from your energy. You have completely dead this relationship this time. You are like, hell the fuck no. Stay your monkey ass away from me. Stay your motherfucking ass away from me. I don't got nothing to do. Ain't nobody got time for this type of stress. It's 2024. We've been going through the same shit for such and such years. For some of y'all, I'm hearing y'all been going through the same shit from three to six years. Some of y'all two to four, but definitely three to six years. Just the same shit over and over again. You tired of this shit. You, you ready to end this motherfucking contract with this motherfucker. This earthly contract. You hear me? Because it damn sure ain't no soul contract. This person is bad for your blood. What I just heard. Bad for your blood. And, and he know it. She know it. Trying to do whatever they can. Told you. And knowing he ain't shit. Knowing she ain't shit. Ain't shit. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Shit. I told y'all this motherfucker come in and love bomb the shit out you then the 1313. And this time he's coming with money. Like you done really like cut off all ties. Like some of you, you probably even if y'all live together, you um have moved out already or are moving out like you've already got everything in order to go yeah and um for a lot of you i ain't gonna lie you have another love interest you just don't got time for this bullshit you too busy motherfucking winning you too busy being on top you know trying to handle your business get your credit straight and if this is a marriage and you have divorced this person, it's going to take a lot. You may have to file bankruptcy just to get your, um, you know, just get to everything back together. You reject that bitch. Reject that man. Shit. Yeah, and they know it too. They know you don't moved on. They know you've moved on. If if you are married and y'all just recently got a divorce or something like, they know you've moved on. You know, I don't want to have nothing to do. But they trying, they trying to get you to go back to a time that ain't in your shit in the day. You can't rewind this movie, baby. This movie is unrewindable. I'm hearing I'd rather be blind. I'd rather be blind. I'd rather be blind by uh, I'd rather be blind. 
<laughs> That's no, no. That Etta James and I think Beyonce remade it. And I'd rather be blind. Ooh, baby, baby. He's saying he'd rather be blind than to see you and this and somebody else together. So yes, he is trying to do everything he can. To get your ass back in his reins. But no, nah, baby, we is not playing. You can keep that shit over there. Yeah, I'm walking in too much self-love. I'm walking in too much happiness. You look at my beauty. My beauty has come back. You understand? Like like I said, you're that rose. You're that rose. You're that rose in Harlem. Okay? You are. A rose that grew through concrete, through all the bad shit you had happen in your life, through all the hard shit you had to endure. You know what I'm saying? The least you ask for is a man to love you, to be there for you, to care for you, to want to understand you. And he couldn't even do that. He couldn't even, he couldn't even find the time for you, I'm hearing. Out of all these years. It's the same shit. And now this person, look, this motherfucker ego is stuck because he don't got you no more. Because he don't got you no more. This nigga is really trying to get you where he wants you, bro. Like, <laughs> I am not lying. He acting like he came up since y'all ain't been together. What? He's still the same demon. He's still the same demon. I'm just here to let y'all know. Leave this right where it's sent. He's not hurting you. You think he is, though. Trying to love bump somebody and ain't trying to flex with money, ask you do you need stuff and you know, do little things from it. Don't take no money from this man. And if you have, you need to give it back. I don't care, repay it back, do whatever. Don't take no more. Because all you're doing is creating another tie to this man. Rejecting it. I'm hearing a lot of you are rejecting his advances, especially this money. You like hell the fuck no. You know, I don't need nothing. My lights pay, my water pay, my rent pay, whatever. I got somebody else, to be honest. And, and, and even if I didn't, I'm still taken care of. I don't need you. Like, you really want to rid yourself of this person with this no contact. You really do, but it's them trying to love bomb you still trying the same shit. That's why I said you that you have not completely rid this person's energy. You need to do some form of spiritual bathing so you can clear your energy from this person completely. This person could have even physically been abusing you. Forcing you to have sex in times you didn't want to have sex. Mentally abusing you. Abusing your looks. I'm hearing your hair. No, what's up with that? But that's what I heard. Made you just feel unloved. King of Pentacles came out. Yeah, that's who you are. That's uh, this one I'm picking up. You're somebody who's who are who's um I don't know. Wait, <laughs> let me get one more clarifier on that because I'm picking up on a man too. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Um. There is a King of Pentacles that is um, either entering your life or has already entered your life. This is somebody that you will be able to trust. You, I can hear. This is what I can hear. The Holy Spirit saying, "You can follow His footprints in the sand." Okay, but I do see you having a um, energy of a, a king um, around you. Um, and the reason why I say that is because you have um, truly went within and you began to see life realistically. Not through the eyes of the matrix. You begin to see life through the eyes of the divine. And you became disciplined. You became disciplined in your ways. You became disciplined in how you handle money. You became disciplined. And with discipline comes stability. With stability is abundance. And that's what you are. That's why I say you are embodying a king of pentacles energy. But... On the flip side, there is a King of Pentacles also coming to match that energy. Somebody you can trust. You can follow their footprints in the sand. Ooh, look what I split the deck on, y'all. Look what I split the deck on. Told you. Told you. You could follow his footprints in the sand. This could actually be somebody you you already know. If you're not already with this person, but this could be a, a friend, someone that you have called friend for a long time. You you know could be wanting to, you know, engage in yeah, in a little celebration. That's how I'm gonna put that. <laughs> oh my. I think I'm finna end in this. Yeah. But this person right here, dead. Dead. Nobody's thinking about this person. You, you especially know they need to just go on ahead and go through the shit they need to go through so they can leave you the fuck alone. So this person was definitely a spiritual attack on your life. This person was sent as a spiritual attack on your life. Yep. To try to block you from your true union to try to block you from your union with yourself, your ascension, you know, with God, with this twin flame energy, that just doesn't mean it's with somebody else. It's with self, your divinity with self. Yeah, that's what they try to do, try to block it. Aries. Okay. Y'all out here as mates. King and Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles just popped out. I told you. That's you. Y'all are out here as mates. Yes, 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 indeed. Mm -hmm. Somebody is just ready to ready to just recognize you for for the love that you are. That's what I'm hearing. The lovers and the fool. I split the deck on the lovers and the fool. What I say, somebody is ready to recognize you. Empress, you hear me? Somebody is ready to recognize you as the Empress, baby. They ready to let the world know that this is who I want. This is who I 
God has chosen for me. God chose this woman for me. Yeah, God chose this woman for me. Is what I'm hearing. This person know for a fact you you were manifested into their life. But baby, y'all had to let go of some shit. They had to let go too. Whoever this new person is coming into your life had to truly let go of some shit. Had to go through some hard fucking times and be truly independent. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. You ready to let the world know just who you are. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Honey, I stay strong out on your love all the time. Y'all like Chris Stapleton because I love Chris Stapleton. But I know T-Pain remade it too. And a couple of other people like did covers of it. Like Teddy Swims. He did a cover of it. But the original by Chris Stapleton is just, oh, it's just everything. You're a smooth. It's Tennessee whiskey. You're a sweet strawberry wine. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Look what I split the deck on. Ten of Cups and Emperor. Y'all. Y'all are out here as direct mates. Like true fucking twin flames. A true two worlds clock collide together to be the perfect world. Two worlds coming together to be the perfect world. Oh my God. I gotta put these out. Shit, this man is, is is ready for this communication to happen. He like, man, I can I don't know how long I can wait on this shit. Like, y'all is out here as the emperor and the empress, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Not only are y'all gonna make so much fucking money together, y'all are going to be a social class relationship of giving and philanthropy. Like, it's going to be so much philanthropy and building. I'm hearing building, building of nations to come. That is what I'm hearing. So, whatever y'all do in this realm, in this time, in this lifetime, is going to have a domino effect for the other realms in lifetime. Nations to come. OMG. Y'all are going to be so nurturing and loving unto each other and to the public. Like, people are going to recognize y'all as this, 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 pheno this phenomenon of philanthropy. Like, it's going to fucking take over the world. Like, I don't know what, I, I mean, that's just how big it's going to be. You get what I'm saying? That's how big it's going to be. It's going to be so much public recognition. Like, y'all are going to be a true social, just a true social couple. Like, people are going to fucking love y'all together. Like, it's going to be like, it just, it's like when people see y'all, they're just going to be in awe because y'all fucking going to look real good together for one. You get what I'm saying? Y'all going to look real, real good together. Very balanced. You hear me, y'all? Intuitiveness is going to be so balanced. It's going to bring about the... Ooh, gold, baby. It's going to bring about gold. That's how good that abundance is going to be. Oh, my goodness. This shit is so good. I could be talking to a fire sign. You get what I'm saying? I said Aries earlier. I said Aries earlier, honey. Like, you and this woman or you and this man who take it how it resonates. 
You get what I'm saying? Because this could be a, I could be talking to an emperor and this is your empress getting ready to come in. I could be talking to an empress and this is your emperor getting ready to come in. Whatever it is, you guys are have coming together like worlds are going to collapse to create a beautiful world between the two of you. And I mean, it's just wonderful. You could meet this person at the gym, um, working out. Or, or something like that. Some of you could lift. Or some you could just go for cardio. You know, things like that. But this is where you could meet this person. And this person is very athletic. Is what I'm hearing. Very athletic. Like loves basketball. Um, Doesn't have to necessarily be all muscular and shit. But he is toned. You know, he's... um This person... I'm hearing Paul. I'm hearing the name Paul. Hmm. But yeah, this person is full of power. This person is a very prominent person within the community just as well. And this person is ready to create a peaceful, a joyful family unit with you. This person sees you and it's no negotiation. Like, it ain't no other fucking option. It's you. You hear what I'm saying with this two of pentacles here? This person knows that you are the one that's going to balance out his ten of cups. You are the one that's going to complete his beautiful world that he's desiring. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. This person wants to be a philanthropist. This person also could be an entrepreneur himself. If he, even if he does have an idea, he's a very wealthy entrepreneur. Okay? This person knows that you are going to give him the sexuality he desires. You hear me? This person knows that you will complete something from conception to the end. That's who you are. You, you do it with grace. Like everything about you is graceful. And he loves that shit. And this man wants you. I'm hearing you can follow this man's footprints in the sand. All right. And whoever it is, motherfucking karmic ass, nasty face ass ex, leave that motherfucker right where he is. Because your emperor is here and he's here to motherfucking stay. Okay? And I'm going to leave it there. If you like the way I read, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't, that's fine too. But y'all know I love it when y'all talk to me. So comment down below and I will see y'all on the next one. Okay?